wonderful people okay the sun is very bright right it is tuesday the kids is at school i have dropped her off i've already done a task this morning that was on the to-do list so we're doing well and guess what they came they came my little tires came it's so exciting right they, they turned up they turned up sunday evening uh-huh sunday evening what was i meant to do with them then God damn you, Amazon. Right, but it's okay. We have them now. It's not the bags they came in, but uh, they came with two different sizes in the pack. And I felt the need Sunday evening to uh, sit there and separate them into their two sizes. Because, you know, that's what you do on a Sunday evening, apparently, whilst watching a film. So, <laughs> hey ho. So we're gonna try it and get as much possible done. I have a couple of hours because obviously, like I explained, I am now cut into multiple pieces. I feel like I'm having to do all of the things all at the same time. So <laughs> the horses are in, so you know, we need to go muck out the horses today um, and everything else. So I'm gonna spend a couple of hours doing this, trying to get as much done as physically possible. Um, and then, and then yeah. So we'll, we'll see how much we can get done today. So let's get cracking. I'm thinking, like I said before, I'm going to start with that end there and work along this wall uh, because obviously there's no pools this side, there's only equipment. So I'm going to start that end and, uh, and then that way then it's just, it should literally just be mimicking on this side where the pools are. Whether or not this side will get done today, I don't know. I'm hoping so. But, uh, but I have people <laughs> at home uh, that could disturb me at any moment. So I'm going to try and get as much done as possible before I have to get the rest of the job done. So instead of waffling, Vicky, let's get on with this and let's, uh, let's start. Let's start doing something constructive. Okie dokie. Right, now we are here. So... <laughs> I have all my all my equipment and make a loop. So yeah, let's let's make a start. Doing the start bit is always the worst. Like making a start and something. Maybe that's just me. So, like I said, we're gonna start up at this corner. Um and then work our way along. So, obviously, first thing we need is la pipe. We need a pipe. Let's go first, let's go for la pipe. So what I want is there's like little printing on the um on the pipe. So I want that at the back. So, so I'm just gonna just gonna attach these first because obviously I know that that's the end. So we just uh, we're just gonna put we're just gonna roll with this. So right, we're gonna get a bit of glue on. Don't make a mistake, it won't come up. So I drink into that. 90 degree joint, elbow, whatever, thing on there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna attack you. Oh, I need to, oh, I need, <laughs> I need to get a drill bit to fix this, don't I? 
So, let's go get my drill pieces out and see what ones are going to fit. Right, these are in two different sizes, aren't they? So, will the smaller ones go around this as well? Oh, the smaller ones won't. Okay, so that means then I need to be very, very careful on how many I'm putting along here. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh huh. So, I've only used big ones, of which I don't have that many of. That's alright, it's fine. But we're going to do this because nothing is going to stop me this time around. I refuse. I refuse to be stopped at this point. Right, we need to find uh, a bit that's going to fix it. Shall I, shall I go for the same one as I did before? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know. No, that's wobbly. Okay, apparently wobbly is not good. So if that's wobbly, it's not going to be bigger than that, is it? See, that's what we as well. Okay, so maybe it's not those bits. Maybe it's these bits down here then. Yes, it is. It's these bits down here. Uh-huh. Okay, that feels better. What's this? This is a PZ1. I'm going to use PZ1 this time round. <laughs> We're going to use PZ1 because it feels like it's a nice snug fit. It feels like it's not wobbling much. It doesn't look right though. Oh, I don't know. I'm saying that though. The other one feels just the same. Oh, I don't know. Right, look, I'm just going to go for the one I've pulled out. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm using the wrong one, you guys probably won't even know, will you? So, it doesn't really matter. Okay, right, so, we need to get... So these things have got, like, sticky pads on the back, which I feel is a little bit useless. Uh, I feel like it's just gonna, yeah, get in the way. But we're gonna leave it there because you know I'm not cleaning it off because that would just be messy. So what I don't want is I don't want these labels. Get rid of these labels. Let's get rid of the labels. I don't want the labels. Good job these are done. They're just coming off, but when you want it. Okay, Ugh, sticky bits. Right, so, I don't want an attachment right at the end because I don't think that's going to be working. So we're going to go to like midway. We'll, we'll go midway. Midway I think is, is good. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to get wet. I can feel it. that I think that's the wrong drill bit it's gone in it has gone in um but it's uh it's buggered up the head on the screw 
doing it. Now it is possible that I suppose maybe the screws are just cheap in that. But I was informed that if your drill bit is doing that to your screw end, um, then you're clearly using the wrong bit. So we're gonna go we're gonna go back to PH1. PH1 appears to be my friend. It, it served me well on the last adventure. So we're gonna <laughs> so we're gonna, oh I've lost lost it in the drill. Right, um, so we're gonna do this. Uh, oh, by the way, someone said to me in the uh, someone made a comment in the last video about uh, that normal saddles would work. Yeah, saddles. Yeah, I learned I learned the words. Apparently, the little clicky things that you use to to do this with normal normally uh, are called saddles. Who knew? I thought a saddle was what you put on the back of the horse. But hey ho, you learn something new every day. So, um, yeah, apparently the normal saddles would have done. Uh, the reason why I've chose not to use the normal saddles is because the, the wood up here that I'm screwing it to is only this wide. Now, the saddles that I have got in the fish room, for instance, I do have one spare. I didn't think to bring it out with me um, to, to, to show you. But basically, the, the saddle that I've got in the fish ring that was one spare um, is too long. It overhangs this wood by quite a bit. Now, obviously, when we get to things like the power, like power points and the, the boxes that are further up that control the flow of the pump, um, it could pose an issue. And I don't really want things overhanging the woods because of things getting caught on it, like jumpers, arms, things like that. So I, I just want, I'd rather keep it all neat and tidy as much as possible. So I don't see why these wouldn't work. I mean, who knows? Like, I might be completely wrong, but I don't see why they wouldn't work. Um, I, I will probably be using normal saddles to go over the door because obviously the door frame is a lot thicker than this wood. Um, so that's not an issue. But for, for this, to put it on this beam, I'm, I'm choosing to use these. And this is what we do. So I've got one on. I'm going to go for another one. So I need to try and spread these out. So I'm thinking another one here. Um, like I said, there, there's no weight. There's no weight to this airline pipe hole. So we, we should be fine. I can't see why. Why having them that far spread out is, uh, is going to pose an issue. I don't think they need to be that close together. And like I said, I've, I've done my initial bar, but it was in the fish room, and obviously I could put as many as I wanted in. And it was into a wall. Well, obviously, out here. I'll see if that next screw is going in and locking. <laughs> Right, okay, yeah, so I was definitely using the wrong drill bit. That's just gone in a lot easier. So I have decided that PH1 is definitely my friend. That's going to be my go-to drill bit for all occasions unless required otherwise. <laughs> so, right, let's try and stick this up. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. 
You're probably thinking, would you like this doing your first one? I was worse. I was worse than this because I had no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> At least with this, I have a semi, I have a semi good idea um, of what I was doing. I'd like to try and get that pipe behind this water. Can you do that? Can you do that? Yes, look, like that. That's still in place. So these are the woo, so these are the clips, okay? So you've got let like me see. There, there's a hole in the middle. Oh, I just got clips on. Uh, there's a hole in the middle that obviously you put the screw. It comes with like a sticky back theme of on it. Um, but yeah, so the idea is, is they're like cable ties. And you just slot them in um, and then put the little thing over. But the best thing is, if you can't actually undo these, you see. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So, I'm liking these. Um, I can't remember what they're actually called or how much they are, but I shall add that right here. Um, and obviously they came from Amazon. You know, if, if, if you ask for next day delivery, don't, don't count the chickens. But still, eventually the egg will hatch and it will turn up. But who knows? So, right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna carry on with this line and then uh and then we'll 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 go for the next bit. So yay, we're getting there. We're getting there.
that bit up. Now, this is the technical bit, because obviously that, that bit was easy, because I've used one, two, I've used three, three lengths of it. But now, I've got to go, <laughs> I've got to get up there and cut it. I've got to get up there and cut it. So, um, uh, do, we, do, we want, do you want to have a giggle? <laughs> I'm not convinced. This is the scary bit for me. This is the bit that I don't like. Because obviously, I've got to cut this pipe. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to attach the, the, the straight connector bit to the end of that. Um, and then, yeah. And then we'll go and cut that little pipe. This, this is the nervous bit, because this is the bit I'm not... This is the bit that I will cock up. If anything's going to go wrong, it's going to be this thing. <laughs> it's going to be this bit. Um, but looking at something over there, I'm very glad that I got more 90s than I needed. Because I've, um, I've realised something. It'll be fine. Um, but I've realised something I didn't account for. So this is why I get extras of things. So... Oh, let's go and attach this. Okay, so obviously we're at this corner now, so the end of the pipe is there. And obviously it needs to go to that end. Now obviously the, the toot is here. I, I can get past the toot, it's fine. I, I can get past the... Sorry. Um, I, I can get past all this stuff. Um, I, I, can, I can get past that, it's not a problem. So, Obviously, I need to uh, need to cut that bit now. Over there, I don't know whether you can see. Uh, let's just move it right. So, can, can you see right? There's obviously this is the beam that I'm attaching it to, and then we have a step up here on this piece of wood along here. So, could you see that? Yeah, along on on this bit of wood here. There, that bit. Right, so, I think, I think I'm going to experiment with something on the quick and see whether or not I can just get the pipe to go at a slight angle, tilting up, to sit on top of that piece of wood. Um, because then it would go nicely behind there. If not, then I am going to have to use the extra two of these that I had. But I don't know if bending that at an angle is going to make it look stupid. Because I swear, when I did this, I counted that I needed, and my list not here. I swear I counted that I needed 10 90s. And obviously, I got four packs of three. So that's going to leave me the two extra. Yeah, you know what? Right, we. I'm not going to try and bend that up. I think it's going to look stupid and it's going to look unneat and tidy. And not only is it going to get on my wick, it's probably going to bug other people as well. So, because yeah, we're doing this and it's been neat and tidy so far. So let's 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 just keep it neat and tidy. It won't be an issue. Right, so I'm just going to whoop that on for now, because now that has to go up, doesn't it? Does it? Does it? Yeah. Right, so, <laughs> I'm so questioning myself, question my life choices. Right, so can you come up like there? Just, just like, no, it's be good, that's it, it needs to go inside the pipe. So let's go, let's go there. Yes? Yeah, do we think? Do, do we think? Do I have pipe cutters? Do, do I have... 
I should have had this all out. I had pipe cutters. Right, okay. So, let me go look. We have pipe cutters. Try not to lose <laughs> the space. Right. We'll be alright, Vicky. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine as long as you don't cut your freaking fingers off. You'll be alright. Right, there. There? <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to answer me. When obviously you're not answering me. Right, I think in order to cut pipe, you meant to sort of turn it, aren't you? So you don't crush it? Does that... Does that make sense? Oh, right, yeah, right, we're just going to go for it. I can bend it back, can't I? Oh, look, I didn't even crush it. I didn't mean to be terrified it was going to crush me piping. And it's not. It's good. Oh, look, label. There's a label on it. There's a label on it. I don't think you're going to see the... Oh, yeah, you will see the label. Oh, god damn, Vicky. This label's tougher to get off. It's made for scissors. Am I going to scratch the pipe up bit? Well, I am scratching the pipe up, aren't I? But it'll be all right. It'll be fine. It'll be all right. I can do this. You can do it, Vicky! You can do it. Right, there you go. Done. Okay, right, so. Is that fit? That's where I'm wanting it. That is where I'm wanting it. Look at that. Right, let's let's get, where's me? It's me glue. I've lost me glue, so I can't have it. I've got no idea what I'm, right, mate, I should glue this in here first, shouldn't I? Let's, let's glue this bit first. Okay. Where's the... Right, the right one's that side, so let's... <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. It's all good. It's all good. Fine. Have this under control. Next bit's going to be even dodgier. Right. I like that. Just like that, look. Perfection. Oh, I've got. Do I have a tissue? Oh, I have a baby wipe. Can we, can we take off the excess? Should we be nice and nice and neat and take off the excess of that? There we go, look. See, baby wipes are epic. Right, let's stick a little bit of glue in that. I put the fumes on it. Woo wee! Fumes on this mother trucker. Oh, look, sun's coming out again. I'm going to go grind. What is that stuck to it now? Uh, that's handy, thank you. Whatever that was, it just made it flip on me. No, just what I wanted. There's nothing more refreshing on an autumn morning than walking into your polytunnel and getting dripped upon. There is nothing more refreshing than that. For those of you who don't know it's really, it's lovely. Okay. That's that in, that's in, right. Let's just, just attach. Like this. Pull that glue dries. Come on. There we go. There we have it. We have it. Right, so. Yes. Ha! Ha ha! Okay, I cut, I cut pie it and it worked. And yes, I did it without the aid of a tape measure. We just, we eyeballed it. We eyeballed it. So, what do I need to do now? All right, I need to cut, huh. I need to cut a little bit of pipe. 
Let's go up there. <laughs> Bear with me a second. Okay, right. So <laughs> I've done the same thing. I've put the little 90 on. I like, I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna guesstimate that I need a bit of pipe about that long. I'm guesstimating. You see? Should we just go for it? Let's let's just go for it. I should have put your pipe if it all goes wrong. We're right. <laughs> oh, I know there is probably people out there that are going, oh my god, Vicky, what are you doing? Go and get a tape measure. Make sure it's right. No. I won't do that for. All right, there. Yes? Are we in agreement? Are we in agreement? It's too late. We're, we're going for it. Ah, oh, what was that? Why did it make that noise? What, what happened? Why did it make that noise? What did I break? I have all my fingers. What, what happened? <laughs> what, what happened? It cut the pipe. Well, I have all, all my fingers are still where they should be. I, I don't know what that noise was. That was a bit scary. That made me uh, pat myself just slightly. So this should go, this should go in there. Look. You know what? I forgot that, didn't I? Oh, right. That shit. Oh, you know what? I think we have. A very slight problemo of which I think I might have to put it. Uh, that's going to go like that. And I need that. Right. Let's let's see if you guys can. Right, I, I have a. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Sorry, wobbly. Because I'm moving you on the tripod. Right. Can, can we see? Can, can we see this? Where are you? Right. Can we see this? Okay. Obviously, the polytunnel is at an angle. Right. So that's coming up at angle. Can you see the issue? The issue is, is now this is pointing down, isn't it? See, this is what I mean by this is a completely different adventure from what I've done before. Because obviously in the fish room, straight walls. Straight walls, four corners, job done. Not an issue. On this, this obviously is a polytunnel, so it's, uh, it's an arc. And these are the issues we're going to have. At this end anyway. And... No, that, that end will be fine. It's just this end. Can I cut the pipe at an angle? Like, if I was to cut the pipe at that angle, would that then make that joint sit better? We give it a go. We give it a whirl. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Um, I feel like I'm need adult assistance, but I'm refusing to do it. Now, I'm probably going to get winged at and go, why didn't you just phone me? Because I'm being honest, I might still have to. Good job, I need to stick these on, won't it? Right, so what I want, that bit's fine. So what I want is, I need that to do that, but at that angle. So... Does that, does that make sense? So maybe if I was to cut... Ooh. Oh no! Piggy, I should have plenty of pipes. So if I cock this up massively, like just this one little section, I should have enough to do it again. But obviously the, the fault is, is that I don't, I don't want to. 
I don't want to cook it up. I'm, I'm thinking if I just nick that bit off, like, like if I was to do that on it, yeah? Look, I'm laughing, right, because I can imagine what you lot watching me feel are thinking. She's an absolute tit. You should never be allowed near tools or doing anything. Is this even going to cut this angle? Or should I really uh, have a saw? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even know whether that's going to work. Because that's still going to put it at an angle, isn't it? It's nipping that end off, isn't it? Right, I'm going I need that old supervision. Hang on, I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. I need help. Okay, I phoned for adult assistance and adult assistance I got. <laughs> I didn't need to cut the pipe at a funny angle. I was overthinking it. So we did that. Try and show you. So it goes up and over and it comes across. And then we're going up the door frame. Across the door frame, and then down, and then to there. So we're going all the way along, up to there. So, now is the bit, I've, I've put the tea bit in. I don't know whether you could see on that, on that part, let me show you. Yep, so there's the tea, because that's where the pump will be sitting, on here. Yeah, so we've now got to the bit where I need to get wet. Huh. Because there's the end of the pipe. There it is. Well, um, yeah, so now <laughs> I need to uh, get in these poles. Because I thought, well, I might as well just stick it all up in one go uh, before I need to then go and do the horses. and get them mucked out. So, let's get this done. Let's, let's get wet. Yay! Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, obviously I'm gonna try and prep my pipes as much as possible uh, before I get in there. So, where's the sticker? Let's remove the sticker. Gone. Right, I need, I need a straight, don't I? Straight connector and glue. Forward to this bit. I'm not looking forward to this bit at all. How high is the water? Oh, right, look. It'll be alright. This is going to be so cold. So cold. Okay. Let's uh, get the pipe in. Oh, that's Don't pull on your butt. Don't pull on your butt. Right. Please don't move. Oh, I've got it splashing up 
the legs down low. Maybe I should turn pop up. Maybe that maybe that should be a thing. on the venture now. Uh, two more to go. Oh, no, I might just be one more time. 
Let's do that. Okay. All right, let's get in and move a little bit now. Try not to put on the lily. Oh, this one's warmer. This one's definitely warmer. Oh. About there. About there, I'm thinking. Ooh, a bit confusing. I'm just going to do this in the hole. I don't want to get out. I'm going to get in and out. Don't cut my fingers. I don't know whether you guys can hear me properly because I am aware that, you know, there's a lot of noise in here. I apologise about that. One down side to a poly tunnel and speakers. <laughs> Why is this one not one cut sorry? Alright, done. Ha! I think the fire cut slightly on that one. Clearly didn't twizzle it enough. Just need to put the pipe from one side to the other. That should be fairly simple, shouldn't it? She says very optimistically. Right, I'm going to fix stuff again, aren't we? Oh, I'm sorry, fish. I'm scaring you. What 
the bag. It's all right. We're just going to have to cut a wee little bit to go on the other end. But that bit doesn't need to be done in the pool. So, oh, oh that's gold. So, I, we did it. I did it. I manned up. That is very cold though, but <laughs> that is that bit done. Oh dear. Right, there we go. So that's that bit done. That's the wet bit done. Uh, I will have to get back in now um, to obviously drill the holes, but that won't be happening today, luckily. So for now, that's that bit done. Let me get my legs dry myself sorted and i will be right back okie dokie then right the air loop is now in so we started from that end we've gone along each one of the little tires have been put into place we go over the table up over the door and down and into there and then across and then we go obviously there's the T because that's where the pump's going to sit and then we go along where I had to get wet and cold and then to that end and then across now what I am going to do is I've got some fishing line um, that I'm going to attach from the centre beam there just run that through and tie over that just to give that center part a little bit more support and um, to stop it from putting too much pressure on the ends so i'm going to do that um i did however cable tie it to the rack in system that this filter box is sitting on top of and then obviously it goes to there back into the corner so that's that done So, the next job is going to be uh, putting in my airlines. That's going to have to wait though until Thursday. Um, I am now running close to my limit on time. Uh, I've now got to go and let the horses out and try and get as much done out there as I can before picking up my child, of which the time is. I will find out later apparently. Um, <laughs> it's it's around lunchtime-ish, um, give or take. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this for now and then do the next bit. The next bit should be really simple, even though it does mean getting wet for most of it, uh, because that's where the holes have got to be drilled into the pipe on these sides for the airdrops to be fitted. And obviously I've got to fit the air pump, which won't be done until obviously the airdrops are in place. So, I will catch you on the next bit um, and we'll get this finished in one video. No problems, we're going to get this done. Catch you in a second. Okay. <laughs> right, we're going to get this done today. Today, we are going to get it done. I have my new air stones that are going to be replacing. Um, I've got sponge filters in there at the moment, so they're going to be coming out. I'm going to be attaching air stones, so we have those. Uh, I have my elbow connectors. Uh, I have my airline. I have a whole reel of airline. But, uh, um, because, you know, I use a lot of it. And it's, it's always handy to have spares. Like I said, I will be doing or redoing the air loop system in the fish room as well to make that a little bit more tidier. And obviously where I moved racks around in there now i've got um a pipe that doesn't need to be there so i'm only going to be redoing the whole system uh what else do i have no i have drill okay so what right first let's 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 talk through this bit okay what you really do need to do i learned this when i was doing the air loop system in the fish room another reason why it needs to be redone is make sure that you find the drill bit that is the correct size so off of one of these spare off cut pieces uh i tested out some drill bits so obviously you can see the the smaller hole and the bigger hole that are there 
so I found the correct drill bit for the elbow connectors. So let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, we're looking at obviously the, the holes. What you want is obviously we ignore this one because this one's too small. Right, but what we want is we want the end to be able to go in but fit quite snugly in as it goes. So you actually do want to be putting a little bit of pressure on and make sure that it's a nice snug fit. Um, obviously you can you can turn it, um, but you want that to be a nice snug fit. You could um, use the, uh, the solvent weld to weld these on. All I would say is, is do a tester first. So test it, leave it overnight and then see what's happened. Because I've had it before where you use the, the solvent weld or the glue or whatever you're going to use to do it. I mean, you could use super glue, I suppose, as well. But I have had solvent weld and super glue react to the plastic that the elbows are made out of. So depending on the type of plastic, of which I do not know what type of plastic it is that reacts to it, I have had it done. Um, this particular plastic for me reacts with the super glue um, that I use in, in the fish room. So that's obviously not, not good. Uh, what basically happens is the plastic just melted and just became soft and pliable and it never did set. So we want that to be nice and solid. I'm not going to solvent weld these in place. Um, I, I don't think it needs it. The pressure on that is, is, quite, is quite substantial. That's quite a well good snug fit and that's going to take some... That took some pulling to get out of there. I don't think um, that the air pressure coming through it is going to do that. But you could solvent weld it if you wanted to. So. Okay, let's uh, let's get this done. Right, I'm going to show you closer what I'm going to be doing because I do want an airdrop put here for when I'm bagging, whether it be the fish or the axolotos that I've that I'm going to be doing or whatever. Um, I am going to be putting in an airdrop here. So let's do let's do this. <laughs> Uh, obviously, we want it as, as square as possible. Okay, so obviously there's the hole that we have. And there's the elbow. Like right plastic all over me now. Sorry, I'm so right-handed. It's unbelievable. And that's going to fit in well. Like that. Okay, so there's my airdrop. And then basically, all we do is we put on said airline onto the pipe. And this particular one, I want it to be just above sort of the floor level. Um, we want it about there. Where is my scissors? Oh no, the child's nicked my scissors. Hang on. I found them. Okay, so obviously we're going to be cutting this to the length you want. Nice and easy. Now, the other thing that I'm going to add are my taps so these little blue things uh you can control the airflow so obviously we're going to turn this off and i'm going to want that about part way down so again cable or oh, airline pad snip and then we just add on add on the air tap On that side, one on that side. Okay, so there's my air tap for if I need extra air on the table for anything or bagging something up or anything like that. And that's just going to 
to lay, just there. So there's the first one in. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get a bit, uh, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to get a little bit um, cold because now I have to get in the poles to, uh, to get this done. And guess what? Uh, the temperature last time was 10.6. Te this, this morning, the uh, the temperature is 9.2. It's going to be a little bit chilly. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to it, but it needs to be done. So let's get this done. Hopefully I don't fall on my bum. I managed to do it last time. Uh, without falling on my bum so hopefully this time we will go we will do this just as well so let me get my stuff organized roll my trousers up and get in oh it's gonna be cold okay <laughs> right i think i've got everything i have drill scissors in my pocket those are scissors because you know pockets are handy things to have we have my elbows and my taps pipes there air stones are there okay right i think i think we're good to go i think i think we're good to go this is gonna be cut oh nine point two or whatever it bloody was oh right okay i'm gonna go for evenly space right we'll do one two three La la la. Just like that. Come on, then. let's get this done. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Don't! Oh, I slid! Oh, I just slid! If I end up on my butt, I'm not going to be happy, but you lot are going to find it absolutely hilarious. Nice snug fit. Okay. All right. Touch. It's done. done. Don't drop the wheel. All right, one. Right there. I need an extra set of hands. Might be handy. Set of hands. Might be a thing. Okay. Come on. 
think it might be easy if I put the air stones in your pocket as well. What do you think? That might have been a, might have been a good call. Can you do that? Let's do that. Maybe walking back with the forward, wouldn't it? This is. Goodness and gracious of me. Now, if you wanted, I don't know whether you can hear me, but if you wanted to uh, to make the, the whole pipe go on me easier, you can could, you could always get a cup of hot water. Uh, but guess what I did do? Uh-huh. I didn't get a cup of hot water. I could have the cat was just over there, but that would mean me uh, getting out of said pool, staying there. Wait for it for and just get back in. Of which, clearly, I don't. I'm not going to. Okay, but you know, we're doing this now. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Don't need to do that. Throw that out. Right. One more thing to do. And that's a pat, a pat. So for this, I'm just going to go like here. That's my airline tax. Uh, I'm going to open these up sort of like halfway. I'm pre-emptying <laughs> the turn on. Um, even though, in all fairness, I can bet, I can bet. I will have to get back in here in order to walk with these. Uh, I doubt very much. I'm going to be lucky enough just to be able to turn it on and it be right. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm a tough cookie. I can deal with wet cold water. Ooh. I can deal with a bit of cold water. It'll be all right. Safe break. Last one. Picking that up. Oh, so, there we go. So, easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Right. So. <laughs> I am, I'm now going to do the other two poles, um, and then and then we'll get uh, we'll get the pump up and running, and hopefully I've got all the parts of that, which should just be putting on the, the rubber sock thing onto it, and attaching that to the PVC, and we're good to go. So, in a bit. Okay, right. As you can probably tell, it's got quite dark at this point. This is because, <laughs> um, yeah, things things happened and I needed to go deal with them. So, 
but I was determined this was going to get done today. So the air loop system is up, it is running, and it is working. So let me just scoot the camera around and show you what 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 happened. Okay, so there is the upgrade air thing in the doodle. <laughs> air pump, sorry, brain brain fart. Uh, right, so there's the upgrade to the air pump. Uh, this was the air pump that was got to do the project into one of those. That is the same one, same one there that is running my fish room as well. Um, so yes, it came with all the airline and the air stones and whatever else, which I haven't used. Uh, they're in, they're in the box still. Um, they will get used at some point. I'm sure they will go into my box of odds and bits and bobs. Ready for the next project, possibly. So, as you can see, we have obviously there's axolotos in there at the moment, um, but we have air to the sponge filters in here. This one needs cleaning out because it's rot. There's no more axolotos in there anymore. And we have air to the air stones in the pools. All of them are running. Woohoo! Success! Could be done. Yeah, and then obviously we've got the rest of the pipe um, to uh, to make to when all the other pools go in. That's where the rest of them will be. So, and obviously this time around, I will make sure that the pools do not have water in, so it won't be as cold. Ha <laughs> ha! She says. <laughs> so, it's up. It's running. As you can see, it's joined in. Just like that. So we are all good. So hopefully that's it. Completed. Air loop system is now in. I was determined I was going to get this done today because I didn't want it to go on any longer because, you know, just, just didn't. So it's up. It's running. Job is done. It's getting late. I need now, I now need to go in. I need my coffee. But well, I now need to go indoors um, and and sort my little life out in there because the child is home and, you know, there's, there's things to be done. Can't stay out here and play fish all day. I wish I could. But, so yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, of watching me put in a air loop system into the polytunnel. If you've got any any questions, drop them down below, even though I think, you know, it's, it's quite self-explanatory. It's quite easy to do. I mean, come on, if I did it, anyone can do it. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's easy. It's really, really easy. There's nothing technical about it. Um, yeah, I just, I just did what? I've got a rattle. I'm going to have to sort that rattle out. I know what it is. It's because the air pump's obviously sitting on top of a metal table so i need to in the fish room it done it did the same thing i just needed to put a little bit of padding underneath its little feet um to stop it from making that rattly noise which i will do so yeah um i just literally took what i knew from the building the fish room corrected a few parfums uh that i obviously didn't want happening out here which is the reason why the fish room needs to be doing again and yeah, just mimicked it. Like I said, the only thing that was really difficult, that really taxed my brain for like a second, um, was, was was that corner. Um, but that was that was just because I was thinking way too technical. And I needed adult supervision to do so. So thank you very much for the adult supervision, boys. <laughs> there was multiple of them, it wasn't just one. So yeah, adult supervision was, was required for that. So Anyway, so for this one, I'm going to love you and leave you and see you again next time. So have a nice week, people. Bye.